Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Katie and Keown. Uh, this is a test video, to be perfectly honest with you. This is going to be my first attempt to make a edited video rather than a live stream, which should be fun. Uh, we're going to, as you might be able to see here, for those of you who know, uh, and then for those of you who don't, we're going to be playing Derail Valley. Hands down, I say inarguably, ugh, excuse me, I keep hiccuping for some reason. I say hands down, inarguably, the best train sim in the game, or just in the world, flat out. Good shit. Really stupid good game. It's just, it's just super good. It's super, super freaking good. Uh... What do we got? Ah, uh, wallet. $2,000. Okay. So we'll kind of... You know, I'm, I'm not really going to go through a whole rigmarole of explaining how all this works, because the game's kind of pretty simple, to be honest. Get job. Um, get job. Hook up train. Drive train. Unload train. Yada, yada, yada. Clearly, we need... I'm forgetting buttons here. It's been a little bit since I've played. Not as bad... Ah, we got our laptop. Good. Not as bad as when I first played Conan for a long time, but, uh... <laughs> Fuck John. John the co-worker gets just throw that stuff in there. It won't be, like, I, like I'm saying, it won't be as bad as the, uh... Switch from when I played Conan to the stream, because I hadn't played Conan in a long time. Like, I genuinely hadn't played Conan in, like, a year. Whereas with this, it's been probably about a good month. So once I get back into remembering how the controls work. So right now, we only have... We don't have a whole lot of licenses. We don't have any licenses, I don't think. No, we don't have any licenses. So the basic, we got basic bitch set up. Which means we got one type of train we can drive. Which we're going to go ahead and go get that started. Seems to be raining. At the moment, we're located at... The sawmill, which, if I remember the button, there we go, which is right here. This is the sawmill. We're going to maybe do a harbor load or something else. I'm not sure what we want to do quite yet. Let's go get our train warmed up. Do we have two of them over here? We do, but we don't. We can't drive the DM in. I want to drive to DM3. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, you are going to let me in. Oh, but you won't let me get up there. Ah. Oh. I want to drive to DM3. All right. Well, we can't. We're stuck with the We're stuck with the basic bitch little guy here. This is the DE2, I think it's called. Let's get the turn table set. All righty. So to be perfectly honest with you, I might not edit this. I don't, I don't know. I am really, I am just really bad at editing videos. Just atrociously bad. So it might be that I just record this and upload it later. I don't, I just don't really know. If I decide to edit it, it may just be I cut out boring spots. We'll just kind of see. Ha ha ha! She lives. And she sounds like a tractor, which is fantastic. I love that. Such loud clanging noises. Good loud clanging. I may need to turn it down a little bit, I'm thinking. Make sure we turn our fan on. We need our fan. Get it over here onto the turntable. So I will say outright, just I'm gonna turn this. Hang on a minute. What? Is, where's the settings? That's a bit loud. I feel just it, for me, not even necessarily for the stream. Just 
for me, that's particularly loud. We'll turn the music down, because we don't need music. This game's... Actually, we'll just turn it off outright. I don't like music in this game. This game's amazing sound quality. I don't... I don't want music. So, I will say outright, I am not a good train conductor. I very much... I very much... I'm not a good train conductor. I try. I really do try. If you want a good train conductor, absolutely go watch and, and subscribe to Heiss. He's way more famous than me, and, well, I'm not famous at all. No one, no one but my brother really watches this stuff, but the point still stands. Go to Heiss's channel if you really want to know, if you really want to see how to, like, actually, it's still too loud in my ear, to be honest. If you want to, like, actually watch a real train conductor who's actually, uh... Yeah, it is just so loud. Man, I gotta turn this... If you want to watch an actual real train conductor who's actually, no joke, run a real-life steam engine, uh, has done real-life diesels, then totally go watch Heiss. Because he's the guy... So, for reference, Heiss is the guy that I watched... Because I was looking for a new train simulator, so I, I forget what I looked up on YouTube. It was something stupid like, uh, good train sims. And then Heiss's video for... What was his video for? I remember it was before they added the, the 060 steam engine. It was one of his older Explody Boys episodes, and, uh, I watched it. It was like, oh my god, I need this game now. And I haven't been dis- it is still- my god, it is so loud. I hope it doesn't become too quiet on the video because that would suck, but it's just really loud for me. I may just turn my- I don't know if turning my actual computer down affects the stream or if that's just my volume. Or the video or whatever. I'm not doing an actual stream this time. But yeah, no, Heiss's Explody Boys video was what got me into this. I had to buy it. I have never been, never been more... I have never been more happy with my purchase than I have with this game. You want a train simulator? This is the most train simulator train sim ever. It is so tremendously good, it's ridiculous. I, I'm, I, I play it, and sometimes I genuinely just kind of sit there and go, why is this so good? Like, not in a bad way, but just generally, I'm confused. Like, why is this so good? And almost every other tra train sim I've played just does not come close. Why? Why can't this be the, the at least the bare minimum? It doesn't have to be the standard, but... Alright, let's go back here. The one thing about this game that does annoy me, though, is it's not multiplayer. Because this game would be so fun multiplayer. Uh, we got a bunch of rails we can deliver. The dash button saves you so much time in this game, it's not, it's not even a joke. There's those empty hoppers. You know what, let's... Turn this off for a second. Let's go have a look-see at the jobs again, at what we want to do. So, there's different kinds of jobs. Uh, I vaguely remember another one. Um, I don't know, let me check the licenses real quick. Shunting, logistics, okay, so it's, there's three types of jobs. There's shunting jobs, which are like this, this one here, which basically means this load, load ID number SMSL26 is out here in the yard, and I bet you it's probably this one. Nope. Where's SMLSM26? That's 7-8, that's a Anyway, it's one of these loads out here in the in the lineup of the yard. 
That's S. That's F. F. H. Forty. Oh no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I remember. This is load and prepare. So this would be an empty load. So this would be. Yeah, here we go. SMSL 26. So we would, the way this load would work is we would come over here with our locomotive. We would hook up to this, uh, to this con, uh, oh God, I forget the actual technical term for it. Contra, con, contra, no, it's not contra, contrace. That's not the right word. We'd hook up to this line of cars, this empty line of cars. We would take it over to the loading area, which for the steel mill is this track here. And this is the little loading dongle thingy. We'd load the rails and then we'd park it back in the yard to get shipped to its destination of Harbor Town. Shunting jobs are loading and unloading loads. That's basically how they work. And I'll be totally honest with you, they're kind of annoying. So this game's got multiple different licenses that tell us what we can do. Like this load here is a shunting load, so we would need the shunting license, which I think we get as default. It's a hazmat, because we're loading cryo-oxygen, which we don't have hazmat, and it's also really super long, so we need long number two license, which basically just allows us to use, jo do jobs that are however long we want. That's a prep load, that's a prep load. That one's also prep. Or, well, no, that one's unload and store. That one's unload and store. So we definitely can't do these. Pile on top of John's laptop here. We can't do that. We don't have the long license. So we've got those two shunting jobs we can do. Then down here, right off the bat, we can't do either of these. These are... Well, actually, this one is one of these. So then the next job we have available are called logistics halls. These basically are kind of as you can just see. So this is haul empty cars. These cars are empty. Bring them to this other location. So in this case, we would take this load. Uh, this is three hopper cars, SMLH 87. I guarantee you it's these ones right here. I guarantee you. Yep, SMLH 87. So we would grab these two and drag them up to... We would go from here, the, the the coal mine, I pressed the wrong button, I meant alt, or not the coal mine. We'd go from the steel mill up here to the coal mine. Ugh, I keep hitting wrong buttons. Gotta stop doing that. And drop those off up there. It's literally just a, hey, you know, we brought the coal down from the mine, and it's it's uh, been unloaded, so now we're, we're ready for the cars to go back kind of job. And right off the bat, we can't do that one because we don't have the long license. We can do that one, and we can do that one. Actually, no, we can't. We don't have the logistics license. I think you need the logistics license, don't you? Shunting, we need that to do a lo Yeah, logistics, $20,000. We can't do logistics loads outright, so we can just get rid of those. But we do have enough money to get the shunting license. Fees not clear. Oh crap! That's right. I moved the train, so now we got to pay. We got to pay the hundred dollars for the train having been moved, all of its fuel and whatnot, which is annoying. Oop. I forgot to plug my laptop in, so now it's running low on battery. Because I'm a truck driver, and having a desktop in a truck is irritatingly difficult, so I have to use an actual. High-end MSI laptop, and just deal with that fun, funness. I don't have any other option. See, this might be something I edit out of the video. We'll see. I'm going to more or less keep talking like it's a live stream, though, just because that's what I'm going to do. And if I end up just posting the video as its entirety, then that's what I do. Fun stuff. Okay, where were we? Oh, yeah, we were paying off our fees Yay! Insurance cleared! Yay! Insurance! So let's go ahead and get ourselves the shunting license. Bingo! Okay, so now... Ah! Ah! So those are two l prep loads. This one now is the third type of load. The freight hull. Which is almost self-explanatory. 
grab this, take it there, drop it off. And we can't do these two middle ones because they're too long. So get rid of those. And there we go. So these, oh, God, I keep hitting dash instead of drop. Dash is F, drop is V, and I keep hitting F rather than V. These, ladies and gentlemen, are our two, four, these are our four jobs. I don't know how to count. These are our four jobs that we can actually do. We can deliver steel billets, rolls, slabs, and bent plates to the machine factory town, which is MF, I believe. MF, machine factory in town. Yep. So we would be... I think the quickest way to do that would be to go down through the farm, over to CSW, and then up through to MF. We could deliver rails to Harbor Town, which is in the opposite direction down here. Or we could do the two logistics jobs here and get another one for Harbor Town and one for Goods Factory in town, which is GF, Girlfriend, which is right there. I don't want to go to Girlfriend. <laughs> I call it Girlfriend because it's, it's GF. And it, it's like we got to own GF. Uh, there was another one here that was funny, too. Oh man, I don't remember what it was. Oh, FM radio for but that's FM is farm is just a farm. HB husband, whatever. Um So the best one for us right now that would be worth you get different kinds of stuff. You get like time bonus. If you can make the job, if you can get the job done in that amount of time, you get a bonus to your pay. That's the base pay. That's the weight of it. That's its length, and that's how much it's worth per, uh, per per meter. Like how far you travel. I think. I think that's how far you travel, not how long the train is. Uh, I don't really want to do, honestly, I don't really like doing shunting jobs. They're kind of annoying. But we'll go ahead and do one anyway, just to get us some extra cash. And actually, since we're going to be doing shunting job, oh, that's right, we can't do more than two. Because we don't have the concurrent orders license. That's why we want to get this done. Let's go do a shunting job. All right, so we accepted. That's our shunting license. Let's put that up here. All right, we accepted shunting job SMSL48. So we need to find... Oh, we got two, two, sets, two sets of cars we need to pick up. So the first set, or one of the sets, I'm guessing, is A5S, which should be this here. SMSL48, this is car, CFF200, yep, so then this one back here should be 105. Yep, okay. Whatever order we do this in doesn't particularly matter, we just need these five specific cars. BS7 is going to be over here, so each map, if we check our schematics here, each map... I'll get the light so it's a little better here. Each map has, like, areas. So where we were just standing was the A section. This is, this where we're going is B. And then in B, if you flip over to Steel Mill B, what is it that we needed? B7S. So we just would follow B7S would be the second track in. Oh my god, the wrong buttons. Holy crap. So then if this here is B10... Okay, so we need to go all the way over here then. If I'm reading my schematic correctly. That's... No, that's order 25. 
That's order 26. I think we're supposed to be the second one in, which would probably be here. 48. CFF 023, check. 178, check. They're all here. I like checking anyway, just... 829. I'm a truck driver. I like checking anyway. It's, you know, check your numbers. That's what they, we always do in the driving industry here. All right, so we can go ahead then, and that siding goes over. That one stays. Let's get this bad boy started again. I love how this feels like a VR game in a way. It kind of plays like one, but it's not headache inducing and it's just super flipping good. The controls in this game are so good. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the one here in B row first. So, let's go ahead then and do this. It's starting to get dark somehow already, so let's go ahead and... I'm going to just turn on the lights facing both directions, because we're going to probably need it. Check to make sure we're going down. 48. Order 48. This is order 48. Yep. Good shit. Now, I do have the option of third person mode and a dash mode like this. You know, you could sit here and you can control all the. All the little nuances and stuff, but I'm going to try and limit how much I use the dash mode. I'm going to let myself use third person because I just, I freaking love third person going out and looking at the train as it moves. But when I'm actually doing controls, I'm going to try and stick to just first in person in the cab. Let's go ahead and bump up here. And then... All right, and then we got to check and see one of these is going to have the handbrake set. It's probably this one. Yep, there we go. So for the handbrakes, that little red knob tells you if it's on or not. So if it's pointing slightly to the right, it's it's applied. If it's slightly to the left, that's off. So let's go ahead then now and whoop, wrong button. Now that we're going to be under load, we might need some, we might need some sand, but we'll just go slow. Sand on the tracks, under the wheels, gives us traction. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and, because now we got to come all the way out here. So we're going to let that coast. And I'll come over here and correct these. So I think we need to go... Yeah. So that one needs to go over. That one needs to go this way. That'll line us up with this track. And then we just go straight back to A5S. This should be... Order SMSL 48. Perfect. That's where we need to go. Hop up on the train here. We don't have a lantern or anything, which sucks. So when it really gets dark, we're going to have trouble seeing. This world is just so beautiful, man. I tell you what. The devs of this game are awesome. Hmm. 
Now, that noise you hear, that's because we don't have traction on it. So it's sliding the wheels. It's not actually breaking the train. Or it's breaking the train, but not as effectively as it could be if it had traction. All right, now we're going to go up to the locomotive. Turn the wipers on here. So the independent is the locomotive alone. The train brake is the whole train all together, everybody's brakes. And then these are the hand brakes. And then on some of the locomotives, you can't do it on this one because this one's a traction motor locomotive, so you'll overheat your traction motors, which is what the TM temp here is. But on the steam locomotives, you can reverse it and actually do sort of a makeshift engine brake. And you actually can do that on the DM3 as well, which is that other locomotive that was over there. We just can't drive the DM3 at the moment. Oh, we're going way too fast. We need to slow this down. Slow down, slow down. We don't need to be coming in at Mock Jesus. We can come in slowly. Mock Jesus on the railroad is not a good idea. I mean, Jesus in general is a good idea, but mock Jesus specifically can become a problem. And the detailing on this stuff, it, it, it's not, you know, photorealistic. It definitely looks like, like a toy. But you, I don't know. It just, it's got a charm to it. I like this. The graph, this is good graphics. I think, I feel this is good graphics. I don't need photorealistic Half decent and charming is good enough for me. And this is above and beyond half decent, don't get me wrong. This is more than half decent, but I'm just saying personal preference. So as annoying as that sound is, you want the squealing. The squealing means you're actually effectively breaking the train. dump the air pipes. Neat trick by the way when you're playing. If you're on the end of the train like this and you're not and you can't get back to the train soon enough to hit the train brake, you can just flip that and it will dump all the air in the system and set the brakes as if you had pulled the switch in the cab of the locomotive. It's a neat trick I use I learned from Heiss actually watching him play. He's like super good. Don't like I I absolutely love Heiss. He's so awesome to watch and listen to, and just I could listen to that man talk for days about just the shit he did on the railroad when because he worked for I think he I think he said he worked for Union Pacific, and then he worked on a heritage railroad for a long time, and I would have loved to have gotten into that kind of stuff, but that wasn't really available where I was at, so I became a truck driver, the road train, if you will. Except for significantly less complicated, I feel, at times. Alright, all of our brakes are off. Good, let's... So now, we need to go... We'll just let that build up speed on its own. We need to come all the way back out here. This is why shunting jobs are so annoying, because now we got to come all the way back out to this and go straight in to the loading area. Yeah, so check this out. Neat trick. Okay, so let's give it a little bit more speed so we get some actual... Let's get it up to like 25... 25 kilometers an hour. Which is pretty, pretty good speed. Ah! Now we go to the end of the train. Consist! Consist is the word I was looking for earlier. The end of the consist. I think that's how that's pronounced.
And then once we reach our switcher, which will be... Now, dump the air. Oop. We're braking a little too hard, so we're sparking the wheels, but... Ta-da! We braked without having to be in the locomotive. Probably did some serious damage to our brakes and our wheels, but I am not heist and I am not an actual train driver. So screw it. We're gonna ruin we're gonna ruin our train totally. Took it a while to accelerate because the brakes are creeping back to life. We're gonna basically do the same thing. Let's get it up to like 20 and then let it roll. Ah, that's good enough. It's kind of the easiest way to do shunting jobs, to be honest, because you can have your locomotive. <coughs> Excuse me, I I hope that wasn't too obnoxious. I might edit that out. That I'm working on the editing, people. I'm working on the editing. Alrighty, step two, load. That's what we're about to do. And then we got drop in B60. And then we validate the order, and it's completed, and we get paid almost 10,000, almost 10 grand. And it will probably be 10 grand, because we don't need 72 minutes to complete this. So we should be able to get the time bonus as well. Oh, wait, we need to... Oh, crap! Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it! Oh, I should have been paying attention. Woo! That was too close. Okay. Train in, ra in range. Load A7L. The good news is we don't have to actually select it. What, what it needs to load. It just does it for us, thank God. So we don't have to, like, say we need these, these, and these. It just knows and loads it as it needs it. All oh, right, we got to redo the... All right. So now we need to go to B60. We'll let that rebuild up air before we do anything. So that's B40. Here we go. Here's B60. So we need to drop it off on this track, which means we need that over. That can stay. That can stay. And guess what, everybody? We now get to go all the way back over there. Out of the steel mill, just to line back up and, to and drop this in the right spot in the yard, because hallelujah. We're going to just do some sand and give it some power. Oof. You can tell this thing's feeling the weight now. This is a heavy load. So you want to try that ring ring that's our temp getting hot. We want to try and prevent that from getting too toasty. We don't want our we don't want our traction motors getting too spicy. I think we can kill the sand now. One teeny tiny little DE2. A little little strong man I feel is doing what it can. I think there's a pause button. Oh, there is a pause button. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, this is cool. Let's do a quick screenshot. There's our thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail. I like it. All right, I think we're going fast enough because then we're going to have to slow this bad boy down. And believe it or not, I don't actually want to do the other thing because I know we're going to overbreak it and really f 
burn shit out, so we're gonna... There we go. That's what we want to hear. A little more. Nope, too much. Too much. Are we past our s Nope, we're not. Okay. So now... No joke. Just give it, like... That's enough. Leave it. Now we just let it crawl past our s eggs, our uh, turn here. Our, sh our switch. Let it get past the switch. Now we'll do the dump trick. Switch it. Let the get let the air rebuild. There we go. Now we're talking. Except for the trains flipping stuck. <laughs> Give it some sand and some power. Come on. Come on, little man, you got this. Come on! Come on, little guy! Oh! Push! Push, DE2! Push! Oh! Man, the DE2 does not like anything coming up on... Yeah, it's 275. The DE2 does not like... One DE2 struggles when you get close to 300 tons. We're running 275 tons right now. And I think we're also on a slight uphill, which isn't helping us any. Are we gonna hold speed? Yeah, that'll be good. Because the other thing we gotta worry about is it may... We may not have enough room to actually get this thing into the correct... We might have to push what's already there along the tracks a little bit, which would be annoying, but we may have to do that. It's creeping along pretty well. So this should take us then to B60, which is here. Yeah, see, we might have to push this train a bit, which... I don't know, we'll see. As long as we can get it in there, it'll count. And we're going slow enough that we can do the end-of-line dump trick, which should... which will be nice, so... Right about there. Oh, just kissed it. Oh, that was so perfect. Let's set a handbrake. Maybe we might be, can we, we might be able to pull this off. Are we close enough? All right. Let's let's see. Can we cheese it and call that close enough? What? Oh. No, it's not going to let us. Okay, so we've got to add to our piles of paper here. So we are going to have to push then. Ah, oh, crap. All right. So then we need to come back over here, undo this. We're gonna just hook everything up temporarily. So that way we can make sure we've got the brake pressure and everything where we need it to be on this. Check for the handbrake on this one, which should be right there. Come back here. Oh, 
All right. Forward, sand. We were starting to move. We're still hissing, which means we're... S I think we're losing air somewhere. Is it all the way at the end here? Nope, that's good. Ugh. Of course, it's the longest train on the track. So we've got to get how far exactly to get this thing in the... Oh boy. Alright. We may have to go hijack another DE2 if it respawned in. Okay, stopped hissing. So sand. Give it the beans! Give it the beans! Come on, DE2, go! Oh crap, it's doing it! Turn it down a little bit. Come on! Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it slowly, but we're doing it. Come on, D2, push. Push like you've never pushed before. Oh, why did it have to be this track? We've got open track everywhere else in this yard, man. Push. All right, that's probably good enough. Set a handbrake. Turn our engine off. Oh crap, I went up against the window. Now will you take it? Yes, job complete. We got paid, so we don't need to keep these completion forms. Grab this and ka -chink. Woo! No, we've got $15,000! But we gotta pay off our fees. But luckily, since we're just starting out, the fees are gonna be literally 100 bucks. The fees will go up as we get more licenses. That's how that works. So the more licenses we get, the more expensive things will be. So, But at the moment, to help us at least get started, it's just gonna be... Uh, a hundred bucks, no problemo. And now we got a new load, see? This is the load we just did. Order, what was it, 48? Is now order SMFH25, and it is a load going to the goods factory. Which we're not going to do, because that, I know, has a large uphill we're not making with that DE2. That one's slightly less weight, but... No, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, that's how that works. <laughs> uh, this has been a test video. I don't know if it'll get posted or not. I, I, I probably will. But thank you for watching. I've been Katie and Keon. Uh, this has been Derail Valley. I'm definitely going to be playing this again some more. Um... This is just this is just a such a good game. I love this game. This is actually new. I don't think I've seen this before. I'm not sure what this is. Oh well. I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Have a good rest of your day.